is the Warden actually the strongest mob in Minecraft? The Wither might have something to say to that. Wither versus Warden. Come on, Warden. He's going in melee. Oh my God, the Warden. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are Endermen invincible to arrows? What? All right, this time we've got three Endermen. Come on. It bounces off of all three of them. Villagers can sleep in the nether. I've trapped a villager in beds to test this myth. It works? So what happens if I try to sleep in a bed? Oh, sorry. You can spawn secret jungle villagers. They're supposed to look like Tarzan. Hello I've there. never seen this villager in my entire life. Iron golems can't drown. They are made of iron, which makes sense. And now we wait. Two hours later. He's looking at me like, why did you put me in this hole? You can spawn giant slimes. Oh my god! He just jumped across the entire river in one hop. This could be the next villain in a Marvel movie. All right, so we tested it with the slimes. What happens when you spawn a magma slime? He just jumped into outer space. If you don't follow them in spectator mode when they jump, they're so big they get deleted from Minecraft. You can make armored villagers which can survive a zombie attack. So this is a villager with full netherite. This is a villager without netherite. He can survive two critical hits. This one can survive three, four, five, six. Six? What? <laughs> Since when can you put armor on villagers? Snowballs can kill a blaze faster than a netherite axe. I don't think that's true. All right, I'm gonna just show you right now. We have one blaze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With a netherite axe, that's busted. We just axed that myth. Zombie pigmen will crush turtle legs. There's no way. This is a cute, adorable pig. You are an awful creature. You can save an axolotl with a lava bucket. I just want to apologize to all the axolotl fans. Giving a fish a water breathing potion allows them to breathe on land. Oh, the effects are actually on the fish. Oh, that was busted. You can turn the warden invisible with a potion of invisibility. Oh, dude. As if they needed to be any more terrifying. Horses can ride in boats. I don't know how to do this. Quit horsing around. Get in the boat. You're going to drown. What about a baby horse? You know, they say teach them while they're young. <gasps> what? No, no, no. But this is not busted. This actually works. You just have to use a baby in a lead. I'm going to name him Sea Biscuit. It only seems fitting. <laughs> you can shear a villager with silk touch. I don't know. What is there to shear? Uh, there would never be a way to shear a villager. You can turn skeletons into strays by using snow. All right, get some of this. I put some powdered snow on him. Oh, Please shaking. help me. It's like a Pokemon transformation. <gasps> oh, that's sick. That myth did not stray away from being amazing. Our Minecraft world's actually infinite. We're just going to try to TP really far away. The Minecraft world is actually not infinite. I can only type in TP 3 million, 203 million. So it's not infinite. You can't turn the wither invisible. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do this. Let's see. So you can make the warden invisible, but you can't make the wither invisible. Zombies won't burn if they're in cobweb. I don't believe this one. I just, I think it's fake. <gasps> I can't believe this. Lightning can turn a villager into a witch. I don't think this is possible. Ah, what? You can kill an iron golem with just your fist. Why don't we come back to this one? It's going to take a while. If your axolotl gets struck by lightning, it turns it into a rare axolotl. Well, that's definitely busted. A turtle will drop a bowl for turtle soup if it's killed by lightning. I don't see why that would happen. Dude, if you spawn enough rabbits, you get a killer rabbit that will attack you. These guys aren't killers, they're little bunnies. Ah, uh, these rabbits look normal to me and they're very cute. I don't see the issue. And just to prove it, I'm gonna go in survival. Oh, what? Where did that one come from? What are you doing? What is he's got a name tag? <laughs> All jokes aside, the only way to get the killer bunny to spawn is by typing this command. But somebody did say it was a myth that if you spawned enough rabbits, eventually you would get a killer rabbit. And that's just not true. So this is busted. You can! You can clutch fall damage with a bed. Now, I've never tried this. And now you know why. Somebody said it only works with the red bed. I will disprove this twice. What did I say? Frostwalker stops magma damage. That makes absolutely no sense. This is why myths need to be tested because too many of them are true. Do you understand? This is good soup. All right, we've tested a lot of stupid myths so far, but this is the dumbest one. It's saying you can break an end portal with mushrooms. There's no way. This mushroom is eating a lot of my bone meal. It's not growing, but oh, oh, that's so weird. The mushrooms just grow around it. That's fantastic. Can you survive void damage with notch apples? Hold on. I mean, if you had infinite notch apples, you could survive this. 
While we're Tessa Smith, I guess this is a great time to tell you about FireMerch.com, the sponsor of this video. We got hoodies, hats, t-shirts, plushies, and more. You don't want to buy this guy? Are you kidding me? Confirmed. You can clutch with a lava bucket. I know for a fact it doesn't work. Diamond armor stands are harder to break than non-diamond armor stands. One, two, three, four, five. Negative. If you put sand on top of TNT, it can break water protected blocks. Now, if you've ever played factions on CosmicPVP.com, you know all about raiding. So we already know the answer to this myth, but for everybody else, just witness. This is how you raid bases in Minecraft factions, and it's amazing. The next time your friend puts water down and thinks he's safe from your TNT shenanigans, thank again. In a Minecraft boat, you never lose hunger. Still haven't lost hunger yet. I feel like Johnny Depp in the Pirates of the Caribbean. I've gone almost a thousand blocks and haven't lost even the tiniest sliver of hunger. Confirmed. Shields do not block potion damage. Give it your best shot. You threw it over me. Can you stop throwing it that way? Throw it on there. Yep. When you're invisible, mobs can't see you. We've got a zombie on our trail who is still following me. Yo, look at these creepers. They don't see us. Look at this. I mean, I'm beating up the zombie right next to these creepers and they have no idea. Look at you, you little stupid jalapeno. Whoa! Apparently, if you're two blocks next to them, they can see you. That would have been nice to know. In this Minecraft snapshot version, they're saying there's infinite dimensions. And the only way to test the myth is to throw the books from this infinite bookshelf into another portal. No chance. Maybe there is a chance? What? What is this dimension? Hold on, hold on. Are there more dimensions? Oh, that's a different color. It's very scary looking. This looks like something straight out of Star Wars. Why am I just now finding out about these? Okay, this one is yellow? Oh, dude, this place is, cre ah, this place is creeping me out. Whoa. Whoa! Look at how blue it is over there when the, when the render is- Is that a- what is, Oh my gosh, dude, this would make like a great PvP map. It's a naked mine shaft. If you place a bed under an end portal, you will spawn there. Ah, we'll see about that. Weird, you like don't spawn at the bed. If you smelt a wet sponge with lava, it fills the bucket with water. I don't think it, that that is no way. Well, I don't understand. And then every myth I don't think works works. And then every myth I think is going to work doesn't end up working. Using a shulker box, you can make a secret entrance to your base for everybody who wants to hide their diamonds from their friends or me, <laughs> my wife who dies with them in lava. This would be really useful if it actually works. Like. I feel like I'm a kid sliding down a fireman pole. That's amazing. Using a redstone clock and honeycomb blocks makes an impossible trap that you can't even mine out of with a netherite pickaxe. And we go, what? That, that's blowing my mind. So by the time you get close enough to breaking the block, it pushes you. If you want to mess with your friends, build one of these. You can put a shulker box in a shulker box. That's preposterous. You see me left clicking, okay? I'm, okay, this is my mouse. All right, I, I want to prove to you. This is right clicking, this is left clicking. You can name locations with a banner. <gasps> what? You've gotta be kidding me, man. Dude, this is game changing. This is insane. I have to, I'm sorry, I have to do it. I, 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 I have to do it. We have to try it. It works, look at it. Oh, but you should subscribe, seriously. You can break bedrock in Minecraft with a piston and TNT. A piston on the bedrock block that you wanna break. TNT on top of it, TNT on this side with a lever, trap door, very, very important. Now here's the trick. You have to ignite the TNT and spam click right here on the obsidian block to place another piston. And if you did it correctly, you break the bedrock. When throwing a trident, it will always come back to you. It's loyal. It's like a dog, okay? It's the dog of Minecraft weapons. It, it's, it's your best friend. Lesson learned, don't get a dog, get a trident. You can mine a dragon egg at the bottom of the ocean. Why would this work? Although I think this is busted. No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh my God, everything I know is alive. This is going to be the last myth I try to clutch with, but people are telling me you can do it with sweet berries. I don't care how sweet these berries are. You cannot clutch with them. It just doesn't make sense. I'm done. I don't know anything anymore. Please subscribe for more myth content.